Rick Pitino is now in as a new head coach of St. John's men's basketball. However, there are questions as to whether the Johnnies can return to their Big East glory days under Patino's leadership. New York Post sports columnist Ian O'Connor, he always has thoughts on matters like these, and he joins me now to discuss. Ian, how's it going, man? Dexter, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing just fine. Always good to talk to you about the world of sports in New York City. Now, Ian, Patino, he undeniably has an amazing resume at the age of 70. Was he the right hire for the Red Storm at this time? I think he was, Dexter, for, for all the right basketball reasons anyway. And you have a program that hasn't won an NCAA tournament game in more than two decades. And Rick Pitino with 834 career victories in college, seven Final Fours, the two national titles at different schools. And he's available. He's a New Yorker. He knows the city. And obviously, he's going to have to keep some of the top New York City talent home. And I think he can do that. So... Yeah, if Rick Pitino is available and you're a Big East program that hasn't won anything of note in a long time, you have to make that hire. And they did exactly just that, St. John's, that is. Now, I have to ask you about St. John's here because we know, according to reports, that the previous head coach, Mike Anderson, is expected to file an arbitration lawsuit against the university following his firing for cause. Now, according to reports, his termination letter said with Anderson there was, quote, a failure to perform his duties and responsibilities in a manner that reflected positively on St. John's University in actions that brought serious discredit to the university. So, Ian, the question here is, considering Patino's past, running a scandal-scarred program at Louisville, does St. John's look hypocritical at all with this hire here? I think so, and, and Mike Anderson's attorneys, I believe, are going to have a field day with the fact that here you have a uh, being fired for cause and you're hiring a coach who's had major issues back at Louisville. And yeah, the NCAA did effectively decide that Rick Pitino was not to blame for a lot of those major violations, but still that program on his watch, it was scandal scarred and he has to answer for that. And so uh, one thing I don't understand is you can look at that uh, press conference introduced Patino at the Garden and the St. John's president, Father Shanley, saying that he hired Rick Patino. Yeah, I want to win, but we really hired him first and foremost to make better human beings out of our student athletes. And I don't even understand why you would say that. That that is not true. You, the, the chief reason you hired Rick Patino is to win basketball games. What is the harm in saying that? And oh, by the way, those student athletes you, you talked about, 10 minutes later, Rick Pitino said he's likely going to get rid of a number of those players. So right. I think that to me, it, it makes no sense to just not be honest and say he's a great basketball coach. Basketball is very important to this university, and that is the reason we hired him. Right, we can be honest about it and say that they want to win games here. As you just stated, that can actually happen. Now, the Red Storm, they haven't won an NCAA tournament game since 2000. Do you believe Patino can turn St. John's into a college basketball powerhouse once again? The track record is what it is, yes. Yes, I, I do think, and I asked Lou Karnasek of this on the phone the other day, St. John's has not been to a Final Four since you took them there in 1985 with Chris Mullen. Do you think Rick Patino will bring this program back to that level in the next three, four, five years? And he said, yes, yes, I do. So uh, I would be surprised in this six-year window if St. John's is not at least competing for a Final Four appearance. There's no question he's going to win there. Just don't lie to me and tell me you hired him for other reasons. You hired him because he's a great coach who can win games, but he's not proven in the past that he's going to be a role model in other areas. So don't put it out there that that is really the chief reason why he's now the head coach of St. John's. There you go. We will see what happens to Rick Pitino and if he is able to lead St. John's back to their glory days in the Big East. Check out Ian O'Connor's, Ian O'Connor, excuse me, column on Rick Pitino at NewYorkPost.com. It is a really good one for everyone to check out. Ian, as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate it, and we will talk soon. Thanks, Dexter.